bonjour à chacune et à chacun. Hi everyone and welcome to you, to your curiosity, to the importance that you give to yourself and your health, since health allows you to continue to have future experiences and discoveries. At first sight, disease may look like a scandal, a misfortune, a curse or a disaster. And we are going to fight against ourselves, since disease is in our body. Biodecoding offers a new paradigm, changing the basis of this mindset. It relies on the simple observation that disease is in our body, in our flesh, our physical. It's an expression of myself. In fact, it is myself. Can I really wage war against myself? Does it sound logical, normal, coherent to fight against oneself, against this message that is disease? I've received a few questions from the previous video conference. Here's the first question. What is the commonality between all diseases? How did we trip up? And what can we do for ourselves? First of all, disease doesn't come from outside, but from inside. It comes from our unsuitability, incompatibility with the reality. It simply comes from a refusal of reality. You probably know, consciously or unconsciously, that we are here on Earth to simply live and have experiences. And those experiences are here to make us grow, to make us explore and to show us paths of consciousness and sharing. So disease is an experience we refuse because it appears cruel, difficult, unbearable. Like when we see our house destroyed by a tornado or a fire, or when we see our child leaving for school, or our car stolen. So there's an external event. The common point between all diseases is a precise event. Before each disease, there's first an external event that I refuse, which I call a drama, a problem, a difficulty. We all experience this, maybe not every day, but we regularly get irritated. However, we don't necessarily become sick every time. In order to get sick, a drama, a conflict, which I call a bioshock, has to meet specific criteria. At the origin of all diseases, there's an external drama which takes place inside. Why is it experienced inside? First, because I refuse the reality of the situation. Secondly, this event doesn't satisfy me. It does not satisfy my needs, whether they are biological, psychological, professional, or even vital. So there's an inner need that is not satisfied. This need comes from an organ. The lungs wants to breathe. They want space, freedom and life. The skin wants relationships and contacts. The muscles want movements, effort and power. And comes an event like being jailed or locked up, which prevents me from moving. Or I'm stuck in an elevator, preventing me from being in contact with the outside and freedom. Or I feel abandoned by my mother when she goes back to work and my need of contact is not satisfied. So at the origin of all diseases, there's an event, a drama. What is a drama? It's when the meeting of the outside with the inside is incompatible, not working. First, I don't accept the reality, and secondly, I'm unable to access my emotions and express them in a sincere, deep and real expression of my feelings. So the body will take care of this event, experience as a subjective drama, since everything takes place inside. Since I didn't find an acceptable meaning and I lived the situation in loneliness without finding any solution, the body takes over to resolve it at the biological level. For instance, if I can't stand silence, I'll have tintinitis. If instead I cannot stand insults, I'll become deaf. 
If I cannot stand separation, I'll develop eczema. If I cannot stand disgusting, filthy things, I'll have diarrhea. It's not the external event which makes us sick, but rather our inability to express what was inside us. The last part of the question is what can we do for ourselves? It's to bring our consciousness back inside us. Nowadays, our consciousness is externalized, mostly on screens. Right now, you and I are in front of a screen. This is very practical to occasionally exchange information and communicate. Yet, the most useful and indispensable computer is our body, our biology. To listen to and look at our own screen, on which our diseases show. We must then find what's behind this screen, meaning inside us. That's what prevention is, and that's what we're going to do during the workshops the next coming months. Bring this consciousness back, thanks to the language of the body, in order to regain our potential for life and self-healing, like did this woman who was dealing with stomach cancer a few months ago, and who, in one session, found the indigestible event she experienced in her couple, which had remained on her stomach and which she was unable to spit out and accept. So because of her inability to satisfy her need and desire, her stomach developed a tumor. Or this child who developed eczema after the birth of his sister. He felt separated from his mom. He was no longer against her skin and he missed her. But because he was unable to express it differently through words and emotions, he said it to his mom through his body. He healed within two sessions. Another client with headaches who was always searching for impossible solutions, brewing over things and refusing frustration, was actually overstimulating his brain. His headaches improved by 90% in just three sessions. Biodecoding is a form of therapy which wants to be quick and practical, which allows to get in contact, to communicate directly with the cells which are apparently sick. That's what I wanted to clarify today with this excellent question.